Hello everyone, today we are looking at how we can leverage one of the new features of 3D Canvas together with Dungeon uh, to create some very easy layouts to start with and build your maps. So one of the things that I've noticed that is kind of hard to do is make like cave systems and stuff like that because it's uh, like you can like um, attach walls together and make a dungeon but when we are speaking, talking about like making more of a cavern, it's a bit hard. So height maps are a new feature of 3D Canvas. Now to leverage dungeon to use them, we will simply do this. So we go to the random dungeon generator is like here on the sidebar. And now we will see how it does with a cave. So we select cavernous in here and we'll generate like some kind of cavern. And then we want uh, the grid to be none because we want just the black and white of the uh, nature part of the uh, of the thing, let's call it. And we click Construct Dungeon. And we'll like take a, a bit and make the dungeon for us. So you can generate until you find one that suits your needs, but we're just gonna use this. So we will hit Download, and we are gonna download the player's map because the player map will not have the numbers. So we download the player map, and then we will do one additional step, which involves using Photoshop or any other editing, uh, image editing software that you prefer. Okay, so now that we are inside uh, Photoshop, we will do a very simple operation. This step is technically optional, but it will make uh, the terrain look way better. So first we go into image, and we can change the size because we don't really need it to be like this big and detailed. I'm like a 25% of the size, it doesn't really matter. And now I'm gonna go to filters and apply a Gaussian blur filter. You can uh, go like with the strength that you prefer depending on like how strong you want the, the edges to be. I'm just gonna go like uh, two and I'm gonna save this file. Okay, so now that we are in Foundry, this is just a 4K by 4K blank map, nothing special to it. I just enabled the usual, um, the usual 3D canvas flags. That's, that's all that there is to it. We go to the tiles and this is the map making compendium stuff. And you can find in the basic shapes, we have the flat, uh, flat plane for shaders you can just drag it on and you will have this plane. Now I click on it to select it and I can go into the 3D Canvas macro compendium and run this stretch tile to scene. And as you can see, the tile that I have selected is now covering the full scene. With a double click, I can go to the 3D tab of the tile and expand the advanced settings to find the height map settings. Now we go in here, we go into the file that I uploaded to my Foundry folder and we select it. Now I will click apply and you will see that we have already our dungeon here. It looks a uh, very white one might say. So let's open the material browser and let's find like a rock or something and we can apply the material. I will use like one of these, set like a repeat on the texture so it's not like so low resolution, like this seems like a decent number. And now we have our map inside Foundry. And you can see that the material is all like uh, nice and uh, shiny. And if we go to scale, you can make it like a bit higher if you'd like. And we can even, because it's a uh, quite a simple map. Uh, we can, uh, we already have uh, the fog of war working and all that stuff because it's a 3D model. So if I go and I drop my mean in here, you can see that, of course my map is uh, already explored, but you can see that the the terrain is correctly blocking vision and all that. So you already have a cave map. 
And from here, it's very easy to like add some details around or whatever you wish or prefer with using the tiling system, but you already have a very solid start. Of course, you can do the same with like a dungeon map that's not strictly a cave, but it's um, like more like straight walls and use uh, something else. But the caves do indeed create the best effect. I hope this small guide was helpful. It takes uh, basically five minutes to get like a cave map running in 3D and it's pretty neat. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.